Mr. Secretary, are you aware of the ProPublica report indicating that there were about 10,000 uh, potential current and former CBP officers in the violently racist and sexist Facebook group? I, I am aware of the ProPublica article, yes. Um, did you see any of the posts in the report? I did. Did you see the posts uh, mocking migrant children's deaths? I did. Did you see the posts planning physical harm to myself and Congresswoman Escobar? Yes, and I directed an investigation within minutes of reading the article. Did you see the images of officers circulating uh, photoshopped images of my violent rape? Yes, I did. Are those officers on the job today and responsible for the safety of migrant women and children? So there's a, an aggressive investigation on this issue, issue mm -hmm. proceeding. You've heard the chief of the Border Patrol, the most senior female official in law enforcement across the entire country say that these uh, posts do not meet our standards of conduct mm -hmm. and they will be followed up aggressively. But we've those already, officers... We've already put individuals on administrative duties. I don't know which ones correspond okay. with which posts and we've issued cease and desist orders to dozens and more. Okay. Um, do you think that the policy of child separation could have contributed to a dehumanizing culture within CBP that contributes and kind of spills over into other areas of conduct? We, we do not have a dehumanizing culture at CBP. Okay. Uh, this is an agency that rescues 4,000 people a year that's mm -hmm. absolutely committed to the well-being of everyone that they interact with. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't Ms. believe there's a dehumanizing culture. And Mr. Secretary, I'm, so you don't think that having 10,000 officers in a violent racist group sharing rape memes of members of Congress points to any concern of a dehumanized culture? Congresswoman, those posts are unacceptable. They're being investigated, but I don't think it's fair to apply them to the entire organization or that even the members of that group believed or supported those posts. Mr. Secretary, uh, just one last thing. How did 10,000 members join this group, including, including, I believe, the head of CBP, um, I'll double check, uh, including the CBP chief, how were they in this Facebook group without anybody knowing, without anyone in leadership knowing? Again, this is the subject of an ongoing investigation. If there was supervisory knowledge of unacceptable activities, that will also be considered uh, and followed up on.